Welcome to Bailey's Travels. We're cruising around Machu Picchu. Come join me. I'm Ian Bailey at Bailey's Travels. Now, when you're moving around Machu Picchu, be very careful because this place is very precarious. The stonework and the stairs are very, 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 well, it's easy to fall off of them. They're very, in a downward angle, they're very harsh. All of the stairs are very similar like this. The Inca made stairs very much like this. So the Inca must have been in awesome shape because I've been huffing and puffing all day. They must have had really long legs, really stout bodies, and could move like little ninjas. Because I'm telling you what, these stairs are not easy to get around on. Actually, it was said that the Inca did build these steps, along with all the other buildings in Machu Picchu. They shaved off the mountain, built all the terraces, and constructed all the buildings and temples in a little under 40 years, or so they say. Now, here you can see a little further down the mountain. I'm up near the king's residence, but further down the mountain, you can see all the residences where th people were held. They're said they were astronomers, scholars, all kinds of people that were excellent, architects, agriculturalists, everyone that mattered to create this amazing empire. This is where they'd stay, in this urban area. Now, up here where the king stays, he's actually got that fountain I was talking about, as well as access to the, near the guardhouse and can flow up to the temple of the, um, excuse me, the, um, the gate of the sun, and he can flow easily down to right below the temple of the sun. So let's go ahead and head there right now. Now right behind me is Juana Pichu and the Temple of the Sun. What's most fascinating about the Temple of the Sun is right below it is the Temple of the Earth or Mother Earth. You see, all of the Incan Empire believed in the idea of balance, of harmony, of polarity, that all things must be in balance. Now these windows right here are particularly fascinating. Why? Because actually during the spring and winter equinoxes, this one is the winter equinox, the sun would actually rise over the side of the mountain and the sun would perfectly shine through this hole. Imagine the amount of calculations, amount of the, imagine the amount of time, effort and preparation it would take. Not only, this is one of the most well constructed buildings in all of the Incan Empire. And why is that? Because it was most, one of the most important. You see, the sun was one of the most important gods to the Inca. Why? because it created the ability for life to exist, for food to grow, and not only that, for us to see and exist. So, the Temple of the Sun, truly one of the most important elements, not only in Machu Picchu, but in the Incan Empire. So the Temple of the Sun is one of the most important structures in the Inca Empire. It has impeccable architecture, and right here, right now, you can see the difference between the wall on the left and the wall on the right. What does it mean? We have no idea. My name is Ian Bailey, come join us for the next episode I wish you prosperity and many travels.